Wushu is a, is a new name um, that the International Wushu Federation created. So basically, Wushu is nama baru lah dari nama Kung Fu. And Kung Fu, I think everyone knows about it. It is Kung Fu ni, uh, tengok orang, macam yang ni Jet Li atau Jackie Chan atau yang lompat-lompat atau yang ada movie atau lah. So, itu Kung Fu. But in a modern name, it is called Wushu. Kenapa? One of the reason why Wushu ni being called Wushu is because um, they decided to make it as an international sport event. What we, what I've been doing lah so far. So that's why it is being called Wushu right now. My name is uh, Muhammad Sufi Shairan. I started doing wushu when I was nine years old, as, I, as, as far as I remember. Um, it was back then, uh, towards the end, December, December 2007. Up until now, I've been active um, for almost, I, how, many, how many, 14 years or 15 years? Yeah, help me do the maths, okay? Okay, saya sudah hanya masuk sekolah rendah pintu malam ke rejah tiga ke rejah empat. Ia pun sudah pandai ikut serta aktiviti sekolah macam ia pernah ikut main badminton, larian olahraga. Kami ikut menyertai untuk melihat juga ya, 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 apa yang aktivitinya di sekolah. Uh, main pingpong, uh, atau sejalah yang aktivitinya di sekolah. Sekolah biasa, sekolah rendah itu malam. Nah, sebenarnya dulu masa time cuti sekolah tahun 2007, uh, ia kami mencari aktivitinya apa sukan yang dia mau pak. Jadi kami carilah segala silat, ke taekwondo, ke one masa one day itu khusus baru ada. Memang lama sudah dibunai tapi belum famous, famous lah masa itu. Jadi pas time orang yang Melayu masuk, saya kami masukkan ke orang ini dengan adik-adiknya lah. Sufi dengan adik-adiknya masuk khusus masa itu di pusat belia. Nah, jadi orang pun kami yang terambil, setia di sana juga. Masa itu Supi umurnya masih 9 tahun. Uh, sampai yang berminat-berminat, kami biarkan tak. I am still currently under university as a student, uh, as a student uh, from University of Brunei Darussalam, and I am uh, taking a major course in economics. So besides that, I do a side hustle that I do as a, I think. I should be proud of doing it, which is I'm doing a side hustle of um, I'm doing a fitness uh, business. Uh, fitness business is a is a new thing that I do, and it's something that I want to explore more. I hope so. Besides, you know, um, to not depends on the. Um, I know this is might be controversial, but um, besides not waiting for the you know CGL degree too, we should be able to explore more in this our current youth. Uh, opportunity ini lah. I joined this program since last uh, month, I think, around six weeks already. I would give him a rating of ten over ten of ten over ten because uh, at first I didn't know I'd, I've never joined any uh, fitness program before, but after joining this uh, elite of fitness, I've uh, I've got a grip on a bit of understanding on most uh, on the forms of each uh, phys uh, uh, workout sessions and overall and also I know that I have to exercise daily so I'd get a better body shape and fit lifestyle. Towards yeah. the end of this program I believe that I'm kind of very good in doing some physical activities and also I think that my endurance also it's keeping very well to that and I'm really looking forward to be trained by Coach Supi. Uh, ya ada attitude yang baik, pandai membagi masa dan pandai meluangkan masa belajar, uh, latihan dan masa dengan family. Yeah, Sufi, you know, uh, since he seven years old start training until now, uh, Sufi is, you know, uh, the discipline is very good. And then the intendance, 
almost uh, one week training around five and six times. He's a very good uh, player. Yeah. Sufi is uh, uh, like you know brother, like Abang. Almost uh, take other young young athletes and then can teach them. Yeah, it's a very good uh, discipline, very good one. I do really proud um, to be an athlete, you know, in an athlete point of view, uh, in a sport point of view. You know, that's that you know that moment when you train hard and then you being selected to represent your country is your responsibility. You know, it is your responsibility and it is your moment you to be proud because not everyone deserve or you know have the opportunity to to represent your country and. Not everyone can do it. That's the most important thing. You know, everyone can say it, but not everyone can do it. Uh, my first tournament it was just a year after my to join Ushu, 2008, 2008 or 2009. I think 2008. It was as a back back then. It was a big competition, lah. Obviously, because I was really small and I was nervous because no experience at all. But uh, looking back at it, it was a really it's a good exposure lah, uh, It was the Miri, the Miri. I remember back then it was after my Sea Games 2017, 2017 that KL, and then once we got back, I remember we have a magic competition jua the next year, which is 2018, the for Asian Games. So what um, what I had to do, and after discussion with coach, to agree to change apa tu, the movement punya routine tu, supaya make it more you know standardnya tinggi lagi ba. Because Sea Games is is just Southeast Asia punya standards. So Asian Games is lagi tinggi. Ada China, ada Jepun, lagi besar lah jatuh. So to to make it to that level, I have to change my routine tu. So it was my jump, my which one you went kan. So uh, my jumping, I I have to change. So balik saja di sea game, I had to prepare lah training macam biasa, as, uh, as usual training. And then it was apa tu balik balik gugur, balik balik atau you know mistakes. So macam balik balik tantak lah kaki tu, you know, arah to the ground. So di sana tama macam um, at some point, aduh macam. It was really pain, but I am a person that, apa tu, nemo ngalah, and then nemo nemo menerima ni. You know, I nemo terima kenyataan, nemo terima, nemo mendengar lah arah apa tu saranan apa ni saranan doktor atau katanya rehat dulu ya, rehat dulu, slow down your intensity training atau and recover dulu baru tak dapat perform. Tapi at that point, my mindset was macam eh karang tato, ya tau pak ya tato. Ya tahu pak, aku mau training juga. Okay tu, kali tu pajal 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 makin serius and then, um, yeah and sampai masa ni pelang, but hopefully uh, I am in a recovering phase and I am I am recovering sudah. Insyaallah slowly, hopefully um, it's gonna be better lah. Um, at least ada power balik, hopefully. How I balance. Um, I think I think back to relate back to um, this um, your priority and your this is uh, something that your passion your commitment and your priority everyday priority at this current age doesn't matter what your passion is just explore and from there find your purpose what's what's what what is that something that you really passionate about and do something about it. You know, there's nothing gonna stop you. There's always an opportunity. Just be positive. Just be open and always take criticism. Ati yung paling penting, because people are gonna criticize you. Doesn't matter what you do. It's up to them. Let them say what they wanna say. But what's most important is you. You have to know your passion. You have to know your goals and just focus on what you wanna do. Inshallah, everything else. Ato, ato yung orang Allah tayong menentukan tayo. So tani just. Just yeah, just brave enough. Be brave enough to do your passion. <laughs>